welcome to episode 30 of Chicken and Battlefield podcast. I'm with Mr. Evil the Cat, the How one and doing? only. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Episode 30. I, I didn't realize it was episode uh, 30. Crazy. 30. I know, 30. And we've got a good guest, a special guest. We have got a very special guest. This is Mr. Jimmy Clown Shoes. Yo, what's happening, guys? <laughs> How are you? This is your favorite northern monkey, Jimmy Clown. <laughs> it is. I was just going to say northern monkey. Yeah. yeah. Favorite right, northern monkey. Yeah, yeah. How are we doing, guys? You all right? Yeah, we're Absolute cool. It's a pleasure to be on. Thank you very much. No, oh. oh, most of It's our pleasure. It is our, our pleasure. pleasure giving up your time for this. We appreciate it very, very much. That's not a problem. And um, just to give a brief um, mm. extended intro, really, you're massively into your virtual photography. I am. I'm just starting um, into that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and also another banner maker for the community. I try, I try. I've, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still very much learning, so <laughs> still so, very much in the beginners, beginners stage. Basically, I, I take things, I play around with it, and then as soon as I think, yeah, that looks cool, I chuck it on the internet. Photoshop, so, Photoshop your thing, or uh, no? I have uh, a novel way of working which uh, annoys people that you know are more professional than me like uh, savior uh I, I do literally everything i do on a mobile phone oh cool um, that's how i do yeah. our stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i've got uh, about four or five different apps that i use and i flick between the two and and then as soon as i think oh, that looks all right i'd have a bit of that and then i, I pop it pop it out on the internet for people to steal that's the thing though like mobile phones you could just anything now like you're on mobile now i'm on my laptop and you're on your mobile so it's well yeah i'd rather be on a laptop but you know i'm, I'm a technophobe <laughs> <laughs> so uh well, yeah your, your banners look great mate to be honest yeah, yeah. Re- really yeah, good oh thank you very much i try like i say i try my best to get uh play around with stuff and then when i, I find things that you know look uh mind-blowing <laughs> then uh that's it <laughs> <laughs> number one nice <laughs> so Jimmy, we <laughs> where where did your battlefield journey start when did you start playing battlefield uh battlefield one unbelievably Ooh. um i'd never really been an online uh shooter sort of guy i played call of duty from the first call of duty but i used to play for the story and I never really went online. I thought, and I used to look at Battlefield, and I used to get this impression that it was incredibly hard. You know, it was like Call of Duty's easy, Battlefield, <laughs> play, you know. So I avoided it, and it's, I, I, you know, I'm upset a little bit that I did. You know, I, I missed out on Battlefield three and four, and then, um, but as soon as I saw Battlefield one's trailer, mm. I mean that trailer. I mean, I've wanted a World oh, War One, a World War One shooter for forever. And as soon as I saw that trailer, it's like I'll have a go at that. Mm. And I stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my first round of ballroom blitz. I spent most of my time laying flat on the floor, <laughs> getting shot at from every direction, and thinking, oh, "This is I don't I don't know how I can do this." Oh, mate. <laughs> I, I stuck with it. And... I was going to say you stuck with it, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, two nearly two thousand hours into Battlefield One, I think. Oh shit, yeah. That's uh, crazy because I, I used to say to my friends, if you if you can play Call of Duty, you can definitely play Battlefield. I think because yeah. you, your reactions are going to be so much quicker in Call of Duty than Battlefield. Like you're you're non-stop, and you, 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 you like I said, you can go from zero to twenty kills in in a couple of minutes. Yeah, and um, yeah, it's totally two totally two different games, totally different games. I, I mean, I, I prefer, I've always preferred now, bizarrely, Battlefield. I, I play Call of Duty online now, uh, and I just can't hack it. Now, maybe I'm getting old, <laughs> and, you know, I'm trying to shoot a thousand, you know, Olympic divers. Oh, yeah. I'm Tom <laughs> Daly come out of the doorway, you know, it's like, <laughs> Salco, whatever. <laughs> no, I don't know, but for me, I, I prefer Battlefield. I like the teamwork element that we have. And, yeah. In general, I think it suits my, you know, my style of play more than twicking about and saying how much I fancy each other's mums. <laughs> Got my little lad in the room, so I need to, I need to keep myself edited. 
<laughs> is that why he's in the room? You say you're going to stay up till like half ten tonight, son, because <laughs> I need to curb myself. <laughs> yeah, he's stopping me from insulting any, anyone on the internet. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I, I'm two runs in, so. Uh, we'll... Oh, here we go. That's nothing for you, I, I imagine. Uh, we'll see what it gets like in about half an hour. <laughs> All right. I'll notice if your drink's empty, I'll be like, top yourself up, top yourself up. Oh, well, I've been sensible. The rum's in the kitchen and I'm in the living room, so oh. I've been sensible. Although he, has got, he has got legs, so he might, I might send him to be the barn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, just have it like me. Just have it by your feet. That's where mine is. I could do that, but that would have involved some sort of planning and I've not done that. Yeah. <laughs> so if you said, like, you started on Battlefield 1, have you played Battlefield 5? Yeah, I went to... I went to yeah, I went to Battlefield 5. Uh, I really enjoyed Battlefield 5 when it started until we started messing with it. Um, yeah, Battlefield 5 I enjoyed. Uh, 2042 I enjoyed probably about as much as everyone else. What, what uh, is that What is that level? Yeah, <laughs> elaborate. What are you trying to well, say? I, was, I said from, from the beta, and I, I, I think I still stick with it, is, is, is a fun shooter. But for me, it just doesn't feel like a battlefield title. Um, so, yeah, I think they have. I mean, I appreciate. I mean, I've made videos which no one watches, uh, <laughs> criticizing certain parts. But and I've, but I've given them support where it's due, and I think they're on the right track with it. But I just think they were done with them quite clearly not wanting to release the game when they released it. I think they were pushed into it with the new Call of Duty and wanting to get it out for Christmas. And so I don't think that I, in my heart of hearts, I hope they do, but I don't think they're going to be able to turn it around. So do you, uh, do you think they should have waited another six months before releasing the game then? Six months or a year? I mean, a year, I think. Year. I think, well, it's gone now, especially with the games industry, from what I've seen is it's gone to... Let's get the next game out the next year. Yeah. yeah. Especially with the likes of EA uh, and like Activision as well. But I mean, it's like FIFA. FIFA releases every year. It's the, you know, it's the same FIFA it was six years ago. It's crazy, it's, isn't it? It's, it's got different kits. FIFA blows my mind. How people, yeah. how people just, everybody just still plays it. I, it's, it's a good game. Obviously, it's, it's the best football game. But every year, could I, I don't know, I, something I could justify getting it every year because I'll put it this way is I, I, I started a season on FIFA with digressing into FIFA but it, 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 it kind of ties into what I'm saying is I started a FIFA uh, a FIFA season uh, and then I, I stopped for a while went back to it carried on playing and then realised that instead of it being FIFA 20 it was FIFA 19 <laughs> and I honestly couldn't tell the difference mm. and for me that's I think that's the issue where they've gone through in games now is you've got the likes of Call of Duty every year. Yeah. Uh, a Battlefield every year. I mean, if you look at Battlefield 1, how many years did that have to develop? And was it like uh, two years, maybe? I don't yeah. know. I don't know when they... When did they start making it? Because it came out in 2016, was it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, when, when, was, they... when was BF4? Uh, 2013. 13. So that, that had a good solid like two, three, three years worth of development. And then they had hard on in between, didn't they, as well? Yeah, but, I mean, if you, if you judge, I think that they're Different already studio. working on the next one before they release the current one, aren't they? I think that's the way it tends to work. Yeah. Um, so they gave Battlefield 1 at least two years, and look what we got. And then yeah, the, the kind of Battlefield 5 was a year afterwards or so, wasn't it? I can't remember offhand. I think it was a bit later than that. I think anyway, but yeah. even so, a year and a half. 18, maybe. I think, yeah. So another yeah. two years. Yeah. I think two it was two years, years yeah. yeah. But it's okay. I just don't think I don't think the current environment they give the uh, sorry, I realised my head's in. I don't <laughs> <laughs> mobile. I don't think they give the devs enough time to be able to to, to do what they want to do. And then that, that's opens up the vicious cycle of it's not the game they want. The players don't like it. The devs get grief, and then it carries on and on, and eventually it's just a shit show. And I think that's I think that's what we've had with twenty forty two. 
did anything happen like in, in, in like a corporate sense like did did they like internally did they change management or anything like that i'm not sure did what kind of flipped the switch there i don't know did anything happen no i'm not not too sure i'm really not too sure but there's the kind of same folk who were you think about battlefield um one and five and they they you know five also came after one but they two they play so different and i can't put my finger on on why do you know what I mean? And it seems that on Battlefield 2042, again, that's, that feels totally different. And what is the factor that makes these games different? Is it setting or... I, I don't know. For me, it's the movement, I think. I think the movement has gradually got quicker and quicker. And it does pay me to say, I think they have tried to change what Battlefield is, to try and bring in some of the, the, you know, the Call of Duty players. And so I feel if you look at Battlefield 5, the movement's so much faster than, than 1. You've got the sliding and, and, and such. Mm. And then uh, 2042, similar. And I think that they're trying to change what I think is what makes Battlefield Battlefield to try and bring in more, more players from you know, Call of Duty. So and I don't, think it, I don't think it's working. So do you think they were... Um... They didn't have enough confidence in keeping the Battlefield formula, do you think, going forward? They had to change it to incorporate other games like COD and Apex and things and make them more that style of game. To be more relevant, you mean? Yeah, yeah. I think the success they had with Apex has, I think, definitely rubbed off on some of the Battlefield ideas. Mm. The Call of Duty, I'm not too sure about. I think if you like Call of Duty, you're set in that. That's the kind of game you like. It's an arcade shooter sort of thing. And I think with Battlefield, it's more of a, um, like I say, more, more, more tactical team play. And I, I, don't, I don't see a problem with that actual gap being in the market. For, you know, you know you've know, got, like I said, when I first started, I knew Call of Duty, really fast, bit mental, you know, TTK is really fast, jumping about everywhere and bang, bang, bang. That's what Call of Duty is. And I knew Battlefield, a bit slower, a bit harder, you know, more tactical, more yeah. team play. But there was a space in the market for them, though. Mm, um, yeah, 100%. What, yeah. what I think is, is the issue now is they're trying to please everyone. But pretty much by trying to please everyone, they're annoying everybody that's played the game. <laughs> yeah. And like I said, I think I said to someone, it's like by trying to bring in Call of Duty players, they've annoyed the Call of Duty players because it doesn't work. It's not like Call of Duty. They've annoyed the Battlefield players for trying to make it like Call of Duty and basically have just pissed everyone off. <laughs> <laughs> but they should have basically, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's, it's got to be a fun experience. And... Mm. Vic and I have been on the Modern Warfare 2 beta like last week and this weekend. And I know I, I speak for her as well. She said it's like a, we both said it's like a breath of fresh air, to be honest, because mm. it's, I don't know, it's in your face at the moment. I'm getting action and I'm not feeling like getting any action in battle. I feel it can take me like a couple of minutes before I see anybody. And do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's yeah, going yeah. to be, it's be a hit. Modern Warfare 2 is going to be massive. I feel. I agree. And oh yeah, it'll be it'll be huge. But every 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 Call of Duty is huge. Yeah. And and, uh, and then you know within a few months you get people starting to complain about it, you know, and and how it's this that the other, and how the old Call of Duty was better. And it's the same cycle. It is every year. Yeah. But you no, know, likes of Activision and and all that lot, they know full well they could release. I mean, to be fair, they have done release the same game every year, and people will still buy it, and it'll still be huge. Yeah, Whereas it's like a staple in the gaming calendar, isn't it? Exactly. Really? Isn't it? What, what time? Is it? Oh, it's November. Call of Duty. Mm, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. There's a World Cup on bizarrely. But so Call of Duty. Yeah. So would you would you link um, Call of Duty and FIFA in the same sort of vein, where it doesn't matter what happens, people will buy it every year if it comes out? Yeah, you, yeah, I think so. I, th I think. I mean, there's been times where they've tried to change Call of Duty up and it is it's not I mean the last one was it um, Cold War mm. wow um, even by Call of Duty standards that was awful 
But I think their their community is 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 set. They they will buy the next one no matter what happens. And they've got big creators and, and big YouTubers and Twitch stars that will play that game and they will make their money no matter what it is they put out. Mm-hmm. And the thing that worries me with, with the way that Battlefield's going is that they're going to try and do the same. But they don't have, in my opinion, Call of Battlefield was built on the communities that made it. And at the minute, the goodwill level is next to non-existent within within the Battlefield community at the minute. It was kind of worn down a bit with Battlefield 5, but I think it, it kind of stuck with it. But with Battlefield 2042, I think they've lost an awful lot of that, that support. And so now, with the next game they put out, it has to be absolutely spot-on perfect. Or do you think it, they'll but, learn from it? But does it, though? Or will people keep still buying Battlefield? You know, I get, I get where you're coming from that, and that's what I'm saying. People will, but I see more and more people in on, on Twitter in the community questioning whether they will buy it or certainly pre-order it. But then again, I said I wouldn't pre-order Battlefield 2042. <laughs> <and I did>. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel the Battlefield community is more of a niche community in a way. Yeah, yeah. And that's what worries me about it is they keep trying to reinvent the wheel. I think what they need to do is, is basically give us what we'd expect from we've had from the other battlefields and stop trying to copy Call of Duty. Because if you want to play COD, go play COD. If you want to play Battlefield, play Battlefield. We don't need one generic internet shooter. Yeah, there's got to be yeah. some, that, some that, to that brings, yeah. that brings me to a question. In your personal opinion, do you think more people are upset with a, a mediocre battlefield than they would be with a mediocre Call of Duty? Do you think people put mm. a lot more money I think on more people, I think more people expect, and I, I'm this, how can I say this without insulting people? The rum's kicking in. Oh, just say it, just say yeah, it. We don't care, whatever. I think more people expect a mediocre Call of Duty. Uh-huh. Because if you look at the the run up to, if you look at the comments on all the posts, most people are saying, "Where's the remastered maps? Where's the reworked shipment map? Where's this?" So most people go into a Call of Duty expecting a reasonably new setting, but they still want just basically the old same maps going through. Now I know we of people want Metro all the time on on Battlefield. <laughs> uh, which blows my mind because I've never had fun on Metro. Never. <laughs> no. I love Metro. Hate I've had a lot of fun on Metro. Hate, hate Metro. Hate Operation Underground. Hate all those maps because I can't shoot. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I, it's like I end up hiding in the corner with the most fast firing gun ever, and, and, and you know, <laughs> feeling dirty about it for the next ten minutes. <laughs> I think with with Call of Duty, people expect, like I say, it's 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 a well built formula. This is what you're going to get. These are what the graphics are going to look like 2008. <laughs> you know, there's going to be no destruction. Uh, you're going to have Tom Daly's diving everywhere. Yeah. This is what you're going to get. And I think. Shot in the back. Yeah. So I think um, people are used to that level of Call of Duty. It doesn't matter how many people come out and say this is the greatest Call of Duty ever. I've played Call of Duty since Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. And to me, it's the same game. It, it, it's what it is whereas with Battlefield with what we've been given in the past the you know the destruction the size the scale uh, the frostbite engine all of that I think the standards are higher yeah exactly I was just going to say the expectations are higher the aren't they there's a lot more riding the on it the standards yeah. have been built for, for Battlefield now whether that's fair or not I don't, I don't know um, but I remember before uh, 2042 was released, everyone was discussing it in the community and everyone was going, oh, it has to be massive destruction everywhere, that, you know. And what we got was below that. And, um, yeah, I, I think you're right. I think expectations are higher for Battlefield. Mm. But what, what upsets me is I don't think 
EA, I'm not putting Dice in this because uh, it's uh, for me it's a different a different thing. I think the guys at Dice know this, but obviously they work under an umbrella, mm. you know. But what I I don't think EA have, have, have figured out is it's a good thing that the expectations are high for a battlefield game, and I don't think they've taken that on board enough and said to the guys developing it have two years. Yeah. Have three, have three years, develop this because we know what you're going to give us. Forget about fighting Call of Duty every Christmas. What you're going to give us is going to blow Call of Duty away when you give it to us. So that's it. People would have waited as well. Yeah, because look at Battlefield 4. People are still now playing Battlefield 4. Mm. People are still playing Battlefield mm. 1. The games that were given the time to, to be made are still loved and adored. Um, so what I'd love to see going forward is the guys at EA be able to actually take a step back from what is the modern gaming and say, look, guys, have two, three years, go build us an absolute belt that's going to last the next 10 years. Yeah. Rather than a year, and then we'll put a new one out. Yeah, so they kind of need to listen to the community a bit more as well. It's almost like they kind of need to work with the community in a way that go through a kind of checklist of, yes, make sure squads are in there, make sure, well, I don't know, the people on the scoreboards are in there, you know, from kind of day <laughs> one kind of shit, you know, so. Legacy legacy feature, a scoreboard, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's but like. It's just yeah. mind-boggling why that these things are not happening now. You think you oh. really want to make the game better, then, then, yeah, get the community involved. Yeah. Well, they did it on Battlefield 4, didn't they? I mean, didn't, I mean, I miss, like I say, I miss Battlefield 4. Um, but wasn't the entire last DLC basically made via the community? I, think I don't was know, actually, wasn't it? There, really? was, there was a map, yeah. A map yeah. and, and everything, yeah. and it's, well, it's still, to this day, one of the most popular maps. But there was, like, there was tests, what was it, oh, I can't remember what it was called, there was, like, servers which were dedicated to testing the map, like, and I can't remember the exact details of it, but something like that, which you could join and oh, test the map. Great. Yeah, before, yeah. Before to it... give that feedback from us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah see, that, that's, why is that not? But it's, it's, it's 2042 just seems like a rushed game, wasn't it? That's the kind of like, yeah, it was just a rush game and it didn't feel like any time for anything. Here's the beta, go and play it. Um, and some, to be fair, some feedback has been listened to, but I feel a lot of it hasn't, which is massively detrimental, I think, something like that. Something as big where the expectations are so high, it's not going to be. Well, it hasn't been well received at all, has it? In many cases, so yeah, yeah. But I think with with yeah, like um... Battlefield Four, there's little things which th- somebody runs into a house, you can blow that motherfucking house up. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's great. But well, where yeah. is something like that? You think that is like standard Battlefield? Like you should be able to do that. I don't think you get any sort of destruction in Battlefield 2042. Is there? I don't know. Is that's there, nice. the mean, that's the mean though, isn't it? I've said it. It's like, oh, they've gone into that house. What house? You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, the fact that I played 2042, I think it was Hourglass, and there's, there's doors with black and yellow tape over it. And I went to it, it's like, well, I'm going to blow that door up and get through it. And it's like, I can't even blow a door open. It's like, what the hell am I playing? <laughs> 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 that's the thing at the end of a round when I say like Battlefield 4 or something um, like an outside map at the end of it where people start jumping up and down they, like Shanghai for example Oh yeah, yeah. and yeah. it's just flattened you know you can't even go into the map everything's there and at the end of the map everything's just freaking gone Goal mode is-, is a perfect example for that because you can just get your tank and just like knock the houses down and shit and it's just like it's just amazing it's like Battlefield 1 and Operations what was it um uh, St. Quentin's Scar mm. and you fight through the trenches and you go into the village Yeah, and then by the end of say the third push that village doesn't exist yeah yeah, yeah that, that's what that's that's Brilliant. fantastic and now I'm faced with a door that I can't run through <laughs> and yet yellow tape is indestructible <laughs> but yeah indestructible <laughs> yellow gorilla tape on the door gorilla tape <laughs> <laughs> you want to go this way? Hell no! <laughs> You've been coming through years, sucker. <laughs> yeah, you're going to go out of that door, <laughs> run around the side in full view of 300 players, and you're going to get shot. <laughs> no what, sneaky, sneaky for you people. What What do you play on? PC or your console? Uh, I'm I'm one of the fortunate people that somehow managed to get a PS5. Hey. 
uh, yeah, um, but I'm not one of those people that hark on about it. Um, you know, like, you know, people comment, oh, you managed to get one. But yeah, somehow I managed to flag one. Um, but I've always been a, a console player. So um, with the photography, you, you press in the share button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, there's certain games out there that um, I've got uh, terrific photo mode. Dedicated on. photo mode, yeah. yeah. Um, like I said, uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, um, don't, even, don't even start, mate, that game. I, I spent so much time just pausing and going through photos. It's re- yeah, well, there's a, there's a reason I haven't finished Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and that's it. It's like, ooh, that's a, that's a lovely, <laughs> lovely I, bit of sex in England. I'll have a piece of that, and then I just, you know. I only finished Ghost of Tsushima this week. It's been up for two years almost. <laughs> yeah, you've been playing that for two years? Yeah, well, not far off, I think. Wow. Yeah, it's got to be. But you're right. The, the the things you can do in that photo mode would just change expressions, change the time of day, the weather. You can put leaves on the screen and things. It's oh, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Cyberpunk as well. Cyberpunk is, uh, especially now, um, Cyberpunk. It's a good comeback, incredible. hasn't it? Oh, it's a huge comeback. Um, but yeah, Cyberpunk looks terrific. Um, and that's got a, a brilliant photo. I'd love to see a, a dedicated photo mode in in a battlefield game yeah it's um, just, just missing spectator mode in 2042 yeah. now isn't it yeah, and that's my mind boggling as complicated as it needs to be fair the spectator mode in one and five is great but it's the most confusing thing i've ever seen in my life <laughs> if they had like a really simple easy spectator mode in a battlefield game it'll be insane it'll be imagine mind, one it'll be mind blowing mind it'll blowing. be mind blowing, mind blowing. Mind blowing. Mind blowing. <laughs> If there was a spectator oh, main 2042, I bet there could be some really fucking amazing stuff captured, like just well, beyond yeah. with, with the graphics and stuff on next gen consoles and PC and everything. Yeah. It's a shame. Did they say they're not going to do it? Are they full outright said they're not going to put a spectator mode I in? I think they've said literally nothing on it, either one way or the other. So, oh, okay. um, to be fair. But I know Savior and, and Carpo and, and other members of the community have been screaming out for, for that since day one and mm. I know yeah. it's early, I know um I know Savior especially who were uh, as you know been DMing me through this entire interview. <laughs> like, DM me when you're done I want now you got on. <laughs> don't, be, don't be nervous. It's like you'll be yeah. fine. It's funny because like, like yeah you, you, like you said he said call call John Rob. I'm like oh yeah, yeah, and yeah, he yeah, said me Rob's a sound bloke. It's like, <laughs> like he sent me the message and I was like what's he on about? We should we should get him in. He's really drunk. We should get him in. That'd be well for me. I'm down for that. I'm down for more. I'm more invited. I'm down. But yeah, he, he went, DM me when you're done. I want how it's gone. You know, it's like, it's like have you, I'm have you actually ramble, so. have you ever met him or is it just online? Never, never met him. In, and I keep trying to get him to come to Sheffield. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. We're basically, we're going to have a big meet up next April. Yeah, in Sheffield. No, Birmingham. <laughs> yeah, but that's not Sheffield, though. It's it? not Sheffield. It's, it's not, not Sheffield. my town either. It's certainly not Johnstown. Yeah, I know. But yeah. it's central to a lot of people. Sheffield's not that far, to be honest. It's only like. Well, yeah, we have moment. got the National Video Game Museum in Sheffield. Oh, look at him trying to get us to come to Sheffield. Yeah, can you <laughs> drink in there? Can you drink in the National Video Game Museum? Dedicated cocktail bars, gaming cocktail bar, oh, and, a crazy, and an adult crazy golf. <laughs> oh, now you spot my interest, really. Yeah, that's right. We, we, we'll come as long as we can all stay at your house. <laughs> I would recommend it. It's a mad house. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I have seen it. Yeah, he keep, he keep, he's been... Um, he'll, he'll, I don't know if he'll, he'll love me or hate me for saying it. Probably hate me, so I'm going to say it. Um, but... Um, Carpo, now that, that's going to upset him. <laughs> so, yeah, was, um, he's been uh, basically behind me since day one. Um, yeah. The From me taking awful photos uh, to uh, beginning to make thumbnails, banners, pictures. He's been literally basically like... Um, Mentor. Obi- Obi- like Obi-Wan to me. Uh, <laughs> by, uh, yeah. Like the annoyed emo. Sand hating, <laughs> seems to be child killing, <laughs> but it looks good in black. 
Anakin. <laughs> Anakin. <laughs> Anakin. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, I stalled for ages then because for a life I couldn't remember the name of the actor. That's right. I got you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> like, how much can I describe the guy without remembering guy, what? Come called? on, Rob. Give me his name. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he, he's uh, he's been brilliant. He's helped me out so much. And uh, basically, I'll, I'll post him a picture, and he'll say, "Yeah, that's good," or "Or yeah, that's that's bad," or "That shit," and do this uh, a little bit more. And then it, and then after about uh, like a month or so, he just basically started turning around and saying, "That's a bit too good." Yeah, oh. uh, where, where <laughs> competition. Out that. Yeah, competition. And now he's planning on retiring. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, 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 no. Seriously, I, I, I wouldn't know half the stuff I, I know now without without what he's helped me. And it just sums up what a guy he is. He's, he's, he's a bloody genuinely lovely guy. He really, he is. really is. An absolutely sound bloke. I mean, I just wish he'd stop DMing me. So. <laughs> that's, the, that's the impression that we got when he, when we had him on the podcast. To be honest, I know he was, oh, yeah. a, bit, he was a bit nervous, and uh, ten minutes in, he was just it was just great. It was a great, great laugh, and uh, he's yeah, he's just a genuinely sound, friendly, friendly guy, and just loves. You can tell he loves Battlefield. He is, and he, he's uh, he, he's literally only about an hour away, if that, from where I live, and he still won't come to Sheffield. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I'll channel me Sean Bean. <laughs> you know he's been he's been fantastic and and i can't, I can't praise praise him more so yeah, uh, he's he been dm me all the all the podcasts gave me to say that so yeah <laughs> love, love me so I meant, 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 <laughs> oh, no, he's not him yeah, yeah. no say my name bitch say my name yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> get him to invite me into the chat we'll have a multi-pod <laughs> a multi-pod i love that <laughs> i like that actually that's, that, that, that is, that is i think we should get him in i think we quite fun him Get a multi-pod. And then at least when I, you know, I've been rambling for far too long, and then he might, you know, ramble for longer. <laughs> I don't know. God help you guys trying to edit this together. <laughs> hey, we just, we, I, there's no editing done. We just I just put the video up as is, mate. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, we'll ramble all you want. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh god. Tell yeah. you what, right? Um Vic doesn't know, but uh I got a little quiz for you guys. Oh God! Here we go. God. On, I know, uh, Jamie. You haven't uh, been involved from anything Battlefield from before Battlefield One, but tough shit. So it's <laughs> it's, it's um, the maps. Tell me which Battlefield game leading up from. So you got Bad Company Two, Battlefield Four, <clears throat> Battlefield Three, Hardline One, Five, and not Twenty Forty Two because that's too obvious. Tell me which Battlefield it is. Jamie, you're first. All right. The easy one. Amy on. I feel one. My man. Vic, down a van peak. Up for three. Done. Jimmy, lost island. Oh, man. Uh, I, I'm going to go battlefield two. No. Vic, do you know? Julian. I'm going to say three, four. It was four. Yeah. Vic. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. She went three, four. Three, four. I oh, didn't change my sentence there. I hadn't changed my sentence. She don't get the point. Don't <laughs> worry. Don't worry. It was just it was just a general. Do you know it? Right, Vic. Sunken Dragon. Oh, that's four. Yeah, good. Uh Jimmy Nelson B. Three. Bad company two. Sorry, mate. I'm gonna say three to all of them and that's <laughs> one. <laughs> Vic, Solomon Islands. Oh, three, two, back with me, two. Wrong. No? Oh. Jimmy? <laughs> uh, me. Yeah. Uh, okay, Jimmy. Marita? Uh, Battlefield V. Yes. Five. Sorry. Uh, Vic, Pearl Market? Four. Yes, good. Uh, Black Friday, Jimmy? Soon Black that is, Friday. Right? Black Friday. <laughs> Friday. Uh, I'm gonna go Battlefield Bad Company to Oh no, it was hardline. Oh well that well. Vic oh, um Oasis. Sunshine. Oh my god, I was just thinking that I wonder what 
Oh my gosh. Um, Hardline. No, Bad Company 2. Oh no. Um, only, only a couple more. Uh, Hangar 21, Jimmy. Is that where they keep the arc? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go Battlefields. Bad Company 2. <laughs> no, four. Four. <laughs> I've never played it. <laughs> uh, Vic, Heli Goland Bite. Who did what of what? Heli Goland Bite. Oh my goodness me. Um, fuck knows, mate. I have no idea. It won. <laughs> you're, <laughs> not, you're, you're not <laughs> getting that. That's <laughs> <laughs> a Hail Mary of a guess, that one. Mm. Oh. Omaha Desert, Jimmy. Omaha Desert. Uh, BF3. Yes. My man. Yeah, my man. There we go. Uh, Vic, yeah. diversion. Fuck knows. Um, five. No, hard line. Uh, Jimmy, Pacific Storm. Uh, oh, Pacific Storm. Battlefield five. Yeah, and last one for Vic, Volga River. Ooh, back of E2. Jimmy? Sorry, I was choking on rum then. Uh, Battlefield 1. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> job. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jimmy wins. Yay. Good job, Jimmy. <laughs> what, what do I win? What do you want? What's your favourite game? Respect. Battlefield 1. Do I win respect? I'll, I'll take respect <laughs> every day. Shall I, send him the, shall I send him the thing, Vic? I think you should, yeah. All right. Although That's he's up. never... Which game was it, though? Three? You didn't play it. I, I got another one as well. Ah... Ah, now you're in for a treat here, Jimmy. I don't know, because the camera went all blurred when he left. And yeah, he's back, he's back. Here, here, here it comes. Uh, I've seen enough internet to know when the camera goes blurred, something's about to happen. <laughs> so it's a bit wrong. I, I, I will send you this for winning the quiz, right? Battlefield 1 framed. Oh, that's insane. <laughs> that's, uh, just, that, that's, give, that's phenomenal. Just give me your address and I'll send it to you, right? No worries. I will do that. That is truly mind-blowing. Thank you very much. <laughs> mind-blowing. <laughs> Ching, that's just that, that's just going to be our podcasting that is you know because it's savior mind blown mind the blown. only issue is that I've, I've got to hold the phone with one hand so i can't do the full <laughs> mind blowing i did wear a beanie though because i saw your post on twitter earlier yeah but... hat season hat season coming up i was going to wear mine my and he's watching so. <laughs> 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 so... oh, i'm not on the internet with dirty hair i've got standards <laughs> <laughs> John has that problem, don't you, Rob? I do. I do. Yeah, Rob, you need to sort that out. Bro. I know. I'll look at the state of it. <laughs> so, going back to Battlefield briefly, do you think? I mean, I know you said earlier they can't bring 2042 back, like in your opinion, mm. but do you think they can kind of get something back with the next game? Do you think they'll be listening enough to, you know, moving forward, say up, salvage something? That's A and and part B. Should they take out spectators? Uh, so not spectators. Um, what do you call them? Specialists. Oh yeah, yeah. Should there be no specialists? Well, I think the specialists I saw coming uh, from when they introduced them. Um, you know, elite characters in in BF five. So the specialists to me weren't a surprise. Um, oh, yeah. I'll go with this. I think with the talent they've lost is significant. Um, but the people they've brought in know their shit. If you look at Marcus and and the likes of that, and for the sounds that I'm hearing from them is that they understand, uh, especially with some of the posts that are being put out now, uh, they understand where this has gone wrong. And I think effectively, um, DICE have acknowledged pretty much what they've done wrong and have vaguely promised that the, the next one will be nothing like this. Mm. Um, so I think... So there's hope. I, I still think the next one will be what we're, we're more likely to expect from a Battlefield title, especially with what Marcus has been saying. He's been putting a lot of polls out on Twitter um, about what you feel about how does destruction play along with 
you know, with the round, how does it affect the game for you? How, how do you feel about it? And he's been quite subtle about um, asking questions that he knows the community want to answer, if that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I think with him at the head, I think he, he's going to put something very special together. It's whether or not, like I said, they don't have a lot of goodwill in the bank. So yeah, it's got to be something I, special. I, I do hate to say it, but I think if the next one, which there will be a next one, they will make a next one. But if the next one isn't given the time and the effort uh, and allowed to be made, um, it could be the last one. I can't imagine that. Yeah, imagine that. That makes me really sad. Just someone saying that makes me like really sad. But I, like I say, I'll, 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 I'll temper that with, with the, the feels that I'm getting from the people that brought in is that they understand probably more than EA do what Battlefield is. Mm. And so if they can pull everything together, I think it could be something very special. Yeah, well, I mean, to be honest, I'm saying this, I actually don't mind 2042. I have a lot of fun on that game. There are things that need sorting out obviously but if mm. if like you can go back to kind of old so I like the class system when that comes in that's going to be kind of interesting how that's gonna how that's gonna work but I think that would only work kind of well if they brought in the squad things and you could get on server browsers and things like that I think those two have got to go together yeah, but, but have you just... I'm sorry mate have you Vic though have you only enjoyed it since exposure on the, uh, the new map? I've enjoyed it more since Exposure and Stranded, definitely. Yeah. But also, the reworked Kaleidoscope is so much more fun to play than the other one. So I'm very excited for Orbital when they renew when when they um and not necessarily renewal. I don't know because I really don't like renewal as a map anyway. But Orbital, I can't wait to see that reworked as well. I'm excited to see that because the maps the maps are a massive thing for me with a Battlefield game, but for everybody, a lot of people. But maps, mm. probably my number one thing in a battlefield game is the map if the map's not working then i'm, I'm i don't want to play it mm. yeah. but that's i think that's what gives gives me the hope for the next game is is the reworkings of the maps what they're mm. putting in i believe are more like the maps that we would have got had they been given the development time yeah yeah that's it um, that's a good point because they did seem a bit kind of half finished didn't they when they first they came just out seemed they seemed yeah, yeah 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 i agree uh, um, so if you take, I think if you take, like I say, I don't think they're gonna. I think we'll see probably four seasons of of, of 2042 because that's what they that's what they have to give us, you know, because that's what they advertise. Mm. But what I feel we're, we're going to see going forwards, and like you, I agree. I, I enjoy it more now since exposure and, and such dropped is because this is the game that they wanted to give us at launch, and we're just beginning to see that and yes it, it, the, the issues it, it's got and and um yeah i don't think they're going to be able to turn it around and bring the players back but at least this has given us an insight as to what they they actually wanted to give us and where the next game will be if it's given the time to develop so yeah. i think going forward now is going to be interesting to see um the direction that they mm. they're trying to take it in, yeah. And what will the what will the setting be? Will they stay modern or will they experience Vietnam? Like we need Vietnam. Or oh, Vietnam, yeah. Or yes. something. Yes. Vietnam. I'd, Vietnam. I'd love to. I, I, I'd, I'd cool. love Vietnam. That would be good. Yeah. Metal jacket all over the shop. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And the yeah. cops blasting out credence. <laughs> <laughs> People shouting ridiculous phrases at each other. Yeah, that's what you want. Yeah, definitely. Pendulous in the background. But yeah. <laughs> Vietnam, I'd take Vietnam. Everyone using the M16, M60, that's it. Just give us two guns and the AK-47 and just put us in the jungle. And an RPG. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The King Zooks. You know, King Zooks, yeah, yeah. And anti-tank mines. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so favorite map of all time let's go what is it 
Who me? Yeah. Any battlefield. Oh, it's down to two. I think. I think it's either, and I'm going to cheat on this. Sort of. I'm going to go to Battlefield One, and I'm going to go to the Operation, and the Saint Quentin Scar. Mm, it's good. All the way through that whole map, and then into Amion. I think was just phenomenal. Mm. So I, I do like that. Um, but I also like, and it's bizarre to pick something from Battlefield Five. Um, but I did like Iwo Jima. Oh yeah, and especially on Breakthrough, I think it worked really well. Yeah, it was a tough map. I, yeah, map, when you you, you find your way up the mountain, mm. made for some epic like, <laughs> moments. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, those two maps I think of. But to be fair, this the, I, I don't know if I could pick one. Because now I'm thinking about it. <laughs> so many maps in BF1 that I love. I didn't used to like Argon Forest, but I really like Argon Forest now. Get called a hacker on Argon Forest so many times. It's hilarious. The hacker? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I, I go back to BF1 every now and then. And I'll, I'll, I'll play like 80 something in four. <laughs> hey, shit. Yeah. yeah. And it's by, by some guy who's a rank 10. What's, the, se- like, what's the secret there? Like, well, I'm 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 ranked 150, and I've played this map more times than anyone else. <laughs> so it's like experience, experience, experience outweighs all. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, the, the Battlefield One, I think um, there's there's so many good maps on there. There's so many good ones. And that's the thing; we've only got like nine nine maps of 2042. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nine, and if you say in, we're going to get four seasons, then. Well, that's another two maps then, is it? Two or... maps, we've got to look forward to now, yeah. And some reworks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And what did we get? Four maps in one DLC on Battlefield, if that, on Battlefield 2, on Battlefield 1. Yeah, I'm Battlefield 4. Yeah. Four maps, yeah. Crazy. More, more sometimes, I think. Well, we, we counted, didn't we, uh, Vic, with Battlefield 4, how many maps we had? There's something like 30 odd. No, it's more. It's 32. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine 32 maps? That's unheard of. <laughs> oh, no, it's insane. It's oh. insane. Have a look at Vic. Anything else? Yeah. Jimmy, do you like chicken? Yeah. <laughs> I always forget about chicken. <laughs> oh, they get the chicken. What chicken do you like? What's your favorite chicken dish? Three kind. <laughs> yeah. What about a dirty, pissed up Saturday night KFC? No, I don't. Well, I've got two kids. I don't go out on a Saturday night. No, but that's you can have just eat. You can have it delivered to your home. That is true. Other other online food delivering services Outlets. are available. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like her. To be fair, I like a good solid old school roast chicken. Yeah, who doesn't? Right, it's the nice, best. Nice, isn't it? Crispy, nice crispy skin. Oh, the skin's yeah. the best part, isn't it? Mashed potato <laughs> Yorkshire pudding. Sun, Sunday lumpy. coming up, yeah. Lumpy gravy. <laughs> lumpy, no, I draw the line at lumpy. No, it's gonna be lumpy gravy. Be able to lumpy. Chew, that stuff. Mm. chew the gravy. That's the northern gravy. thing. Welcome chicken, north. chicken gravy. Yeah, that's some good shit. Chicken. Yeah. yeah. Not not lumpy gravy though. Yeah. Welcome to the north of it. We're poor in the north of England. You have to be able to chew everything. <laughs> Let's just put loads of lumps in your gravy. Yeah, yeah. You need lumps to make it. What do like the lumps chicken. consist of? What are the lumps? Are you, are you talking like brown? Brown, just brown lumps. Just brown lumps. <laughs> you know, that's what you do. Just, just as long as you can chew stuff, then we're happy. Yeah. And... As long as you've got your teeth still, you're all right, yeah? Yeah, yeah. That's what's going on. <laughs> and then you'll often find, you know, old people just sucking on a Yorkshire pudding. Yeah. <laughs> that's what we got. Yeah, yeah. It's grim uh, not, yeah. I just got a I got an image of a granny walking down the high street sucking, sucking on a Yorkshire pudding. Go on, go on Google brown. these videos. Go on, go, well, I'm going to Google that. <laughs> just, look, just look for Rotherham City Centre. Granny Yorkshire sucking pudding, on a Yorkshire pudding. Cats, whippets. It's all there. It's all there. Oh, oh man. It's stuck funny. in your dentures, wouldn't it? Mm. If yeah, we could afford dentures. <laughs> if you could... <laughs> We make our own out of wood up here. Yeah. <laughs> Every three oh, corner little man whittling away. Tiny <laughs> little lathe making teeth for the grannies. That's all we got. 
Oh my god, when in the scope to suck out some lumpy gravy. Yeah, yeah, it's a little gap between the two front teeth for a straw. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? uh, to, mm, to <laughs> gravy sucking. I'll have, to come, I'll have to come visit. This is one of the best <laughs> conversations I've ever had when I've asked a guest if they like chicken. <laughs> this is up there. Well, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I, basically. I, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> essentially, you've said it a roast chicken dinner. You can't, it's that, that, that it's rubs everything. The rum's kicking in now, so that's our full time. Before we, uh, before we head off, how's the merch doing? I sold a mug. <laughs> yeah, nice. Um, to someone who I don't know. Wow. Um, so that, that, that's quite good for me. That is good. Somebody, um, somebody rocking someone, your mug. Someone who isn't basically someone I know on Twitter and I've told to buy, buy yeah. a mug. I like uh, mugs. I bought a mug. And so I currently have uh, around about one pound twenty-seven <laughs> uh, sitting, being held in a red bubble account um, <laughs> until I hit a twenty-pound limit. Oh, never! Oh, no. Or until December, apparently, because come December they feel generous and pay you whatever it is. So yeah, so I've Christmas. sold it. So, so, so the merch is doing uh, steady. Well. That's steady. Yeah, I sold a mug last year, and I've sold a mug this year, so it's consistent. How much, I'll buy, I'll how, much they charge? how much do they charge for the mug? I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to be fair, I'm not sure. Uh, I, I go on there every now and then and reduce the price to, to the lowest possible. Um, because, uh, you know, it's all these online merch stores, you know, they always seem to think that someone wants to spend 30 quid on on, yeah. on a mouse mat or, well, not even a or mouse a T-shirt. Mat. Yeah. So I drop mm. it for as much. I'm not in it for... For any sort of financial gain, I just like the idea of these people walking around with a, a clown Bob Ross t shirt <laughs> or, or something or a mug with a, a, a Bob on it. So I go on there every now and then and I reduce it down. But yeah, you know. Is it just the, m- the mugs that's on there? Oh, there's everything on there. Oh, uh, there? There's mugs. Oh, God, mate, serious. There's what you'd expect t shirts, mugs, there's uh, bedding. Wow. Bedding. Wow. Bedding. Yeah. If you if you want bedding, there's there's dresses. There's it's basically a, a huge amount of different things you can get with with clown Bob Ross on. Any beanie hats? <laughs> I, mate, I I did try and put beanie hats on uh, and bucket hats. I don't know if they're on there yet. Mm. I'll have a word with my man. Yeah, have a word with your man. And get him to your to people talk, to talk to his people around. and get yeah, a beanie. Yeah. Bean yeah, but yeah, no, there's 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 some very strange stuff on there. <laughs> but you know, it's all my, the links on my my Twitter page. So yeah, I'll stick it on this podcast. The link to your uh, yeah. to your merch store. <laughs> so it's Jimmy Clown shoes on Red Bubble. It's Jimmy Clown shoes on everything. On everything. Right? I'm lazy. I'm lazy. Well, I, I why not? Lazy. Yeah. Why not? Consistency. Yeah, exactly. I am nothing <laughs> but consistent. <laughs> well, oh well it's been so bloody lovely having you on it has it's been really nice talking to you and hearing your uh, your thoughts i've rambled a lot i'm aware so i apologize for that. No, no, actually, no. No, every guest says that and it's not it's you, honestly you haven't we get people on here to ramble if yeah, that's you know, the whole want point. a better that's word the point it's of not it. rambling it's talking <laughs> we love listening to people and you sir have been a pleasure it's been really nice no, it's been it's been lovely to be on. It has been a truly mind blowing experience. And, uh, <laughs> Thank you, appreciate it. <laughs> uh, I've got to try and figure out how to stop this recording. <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> well, don't 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 go straight away because I just need to ask you something else. Like when this is done. So. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Do Where I have a chance to go to the toilet first? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so. <laughs> Thank you to Jimmy Clown Shoes. That was our awesome podcast. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your time. That was Victoria, my co-host. I be evil the cap. You wish you success and nothing less. Peace. <laughs>